So, the former head of state, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta, is right here again with another new different political strategy. Uhuru Kenyatta currently is trying so hard to play sympathy politics. And this is after his Limuru 3 meeting, the recent one, backfired and failed terribly. In fact, currently, there is no one still talking about Limuru 3 because it was not a political storm. It was not a political wave. You know, Uhuru Kenyatta is still facing rejection and severe rejection from even his own region because he disobeyed his region. The people from the mountain had warned Uhuru Kenyatta a long time ago that we don't want you to follow this route of endorsing Raila Odinga. We don't want this person but Uhuru Kenyatta insisted and forced himself into that route. Currently, Uhuru Kenyatta is paying so hard for his terrible mistakes. Uhuru Kenyatta wants to make another political comeback. So he wants the people of the Republic of Kenya, not his own region alone, to sympathize with him so that they can win back that support. Is this going to work? According to me, this strategy is not going to work at all. Because once the people of the Republic of Kenya have rejected you, once your community has rejected you as their leader, as their kingpin, it is so hard for you to make a comeback. Let me read for you these details by Uhuru Kenyatta himself. Posted on this article with the headline, Starved Cash, whereby Uhuru Kenyatta is crying that he has not been receiving his benefits as a retired president. And he gave us the examples that he has not been receiving the air tickets provided by the government. He has not receiving any repair costs for his motor vehicles. Uhuru Kenyatta is telling us that there are no contract renewals for his staff and the government should provide so. Forced to fuel with his own money. Uhuru Kenyatta is telling us that he is still paying rent with his own money and the government should provide. Uhuru Kenyatta is telling us that he has not been receiving any allowances since he went for his retirement. So Uhuru Kenyatta want the people of the Republic of Kenya to sympathize with him. He wants the people of the Republic of Kenya to believe that he is being frustrated by President William Ruto. That William Ruto is on a revenge mission against Uhuru Kenyatta. So, is this true? Because as for me, I don't think, I don't really think if William Ruto can do so to Uhuru Kenyatta or through the, to the Kenyattas, William Ruto is not that kind of a person. The same way William Ruto was frustrated by Uhuru Kenyatta himself, I don't think if William Ruto can revenge. William Ruto cannot frustrate Uhuru Kenyatta. There must be something. So then, why is Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta being denied all this? Why is he being denied all this? as the retired president. I want to give you three reasons as to why Uhuru Kenyatta is being denied his retirement benefits as the former president of the Republic of Kenya. His political mistakes that he's still committing. And if he continues 
Uhuru Kenyatta will continue to be denied his retirement benefits. He is committing very serious political mistakes. Just a quick reminder that if you are listening to me and you haven't subscribed, I want you to take one second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. Just press the thumbs up button down below. Thank you so much for your support. First of all, the first mistake that Uhuru Kenyatta is still committing, and I want you to realize that the retirement benefits for all the former president of the Republic of Kenya must be given to all the presidents who have retired politically. But Uhuru Kenyatta on this side does not want to retire as the former president. Uhuru Kenyatta is still campaigning. You see? Benefits are specifically meant for retired presidents only. Uhuru Kenyatta is not officially retired. Uhuru Kenyatta still wants to play politics. That is why he organized the recent Lemuru 3 political meeting. For political reasons. That is why Uhuru Kenyatta also launched officially a new alliance, political alliance, ahead of the 2027 general elections. I don't know what Uhuru Kenyatta is aiming at politically ahead of the 2027 general elections. But for Uhuru Kenyatta to receive the benefits, he must first of all retire politically and completely not to be not to associate himself with the current political affairs. Just like Moikibaki, he went and relaxed. That is why he received his benefits without any issues. The former president Moi also did so. The moment he was retired from politics, he went and relaxed. He never played any role in politics. Uhuru Kenyatta should follow suit. Number two, Uhuru Kenyatta must try every means possible to reconcile with his current boss, President William Samway Araputo. It's time for a reconciliation. The truth is, not Uhuru Kenyatta alone, the Kenyattas, including Mamangina Kenyatta himself, failed William Ruto terribly. They frustrated William Ruto. They orchestrated every means to ensure that William Ruto does not become the president. And once William Ruto was the president, they also used all means to frustrate his administration. Uhuru Kenyatta was still sponsoring the demonstrations led by Raila Odinga, uh, the court cases against William Ruto's development agenda. You had William Ruto recently, just recently, talking about his um, uh, development agenda being sabotaged at the courts. So those are the kind of issues that are coming out. If Uhuru Kenyatta and the Kenyattas want to receive all these issues, uh, what they are demanding, they must first of all retire politically. And finally, finally, if Uhuru Kenyatta will be given his um, retirement benefits, the government fears that Uhuru Kenyatta will misuse the money for political reasons. Because even when Uhuru Kenyatta was in power, according to the statement, According to the reports, he used taxpayers' money for political reasons to campaign for Ray Odinga. And according to the reports, Uhuru Kenyatta used 4 million daily for a whole 12 months. So Uhuru Kenyatta must retire from politics. He must stop frustrating William Ruto, politically speaking, and William Ruto's development agenda for the country. He must stop 
playing politics ahead of the 2027 general elections. I don't know what you think. I want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. What can you say about Uhuru Kenyatta being denied all this? And why do you think Uhuru Kenyatta is being denied his retirement benefits as the former head of state? Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. My name is Jason. Bye-bye and have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.